Welcome back to another episode of The Roundup. I'm your host, David Cantu, and I'm here to give you what you want to hear in entertainment news. Roll the intro. Since September 1st, I've been playing Metal Gear Solid 5 pretty much non-stop. And if you're like me, you've also been following the crazy drama between series creator Hideo Kojima and Konami. Now it seems to have gotten a little bit weirder. Konami is apparently throwing around the idea of another Metal Gear game, and when asked about the departure of Kojima, they simply stated that he's on an extended vacation, and that currently he's still listed as a company employee. I don't blame Konami for wanting to capitalize on another game. I'm sure they took notice of the 5 million copies sold worldwide so far, and now all they see is dollar signs in their eyes. Yen. It's probably Yen. The interesting thing is, why would they go out of their way to say that Kojima is still an employee after a very nasty and public breakup? But what if this is their way of trying to get Kojima back on board? Yeah, everybody's had that crazy accent. Baby, I still love you. Baby, I still love you. Take me back. And then that's when Kojima said, no. What if? What if they throw a whole bunch of money his way, right? And he comes back, comes back to the company, reforms Kojima Productions, and then they uncancel Silent Hills as well. I know, I know. This sounds very unlikely. But it sounds suspect enough to where maybe Konami is plotting something. I mean, it is hard to believe that Kojima would just come back so easily, especially after the shutdown of Kojima Productions. As far as the new game, I would love to get a remake of the original Metal Gear from MSX and get a further in-depth story about the villainous turn of the big boss that we know from The Phantom Pain. Either that or something that takes place in between Metal Gear Solid 5 and the original Metal Gear. I just wanted to complete the circle somehow and end with Solid Snake. I just hope that they don't do anything that's going to insult the intelligence of the longtime fans though. CBS seems to be boldly going where some TV networks have gone before by developing a new Star Trek series on the heels of the franchise's 50th anniversary. Not much is known about the new show so far except that Alex Kurtzman, who co-wrote and produced the last two Star Trek films, is actually going to be producing this show, and that it's not going to go the conventional route of being broadcast on TV. Instead, they're going to go the digital route, and the show's going to be premiering on CBS's video on demand service, CBS All Access. I'm a huge Trekkie, and please don't kill me, but I've always loved Star Trek just a little bit more than Star Wars. Say what? Yes, I know it's blasphemy for some people out there, but it's true. I mean, I even watched Star Trek Enterprise, which wasn't the best, but it's kind of like cold pizza to me. Even though it's cold, it's still pizza. With that being said, I think having the show exclusively on CBS's subscription service is only going to hurt it. I don't think everyone's going to want to pay $9.99 a month or whatever the price is for one single show. To me, I feel like it's asking a lot for a generation that's still trying to get comfortable with all these subscription services out there. This also raises some concerns for me though. In this day and age, anybody can go out and grab a camera and create a Star Trek fan film or a series. And for the most part, they're really good. But, let's face it, they're low budget. I'm afraid that CBS is going to see this as an opportunity to do the same thing and forego using a bigger budget because it's only going to be showing on their video on demand platform. Then again, Netflix has showed that they can make shows that are just as good, if not better, than anything that we've seen on broadcast TV. I just hope that the fans don't get the short end of the stick when the new Star Trek series premieres in January 2017. How do you feel about a new Metal Gear game being made? What's your take on the whole Konami Kojima situation? And what about the new Star Trek series? How do you feel about it only being on CBS All Access? Let me know in the comments below. Click on this bionic arm to subscribe to this channel, give us a thumbs up while you're there, and if you can, share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching another episode of The Roundup. We'll catch you next time. Stop kidding around, Snake.